1.5 yards. It's a hard shot. Yes. Fantastic. Hard shot. Yes. It's a good male. It's a good one. Hard shot. Yeah. He can't go far. No. Nice guy. He's going down. In the strong wind, it's a beautiful man. Oh God, he just came in. Yeah. I still ain't low. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. yeah, but he wasn't. He was so, so calm. That's why he came in fast because he knows it can be anything close by. You know, yeah. this wind, everything plays a role. Well done. Right over hard. There we go. I didn't do any high low this time. No, 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 no. no. He asked me if he's skittish, I said no he's not, because he would act totally different if he was. That's a good male. He's dying, he's finished. It's cold out here. That's good falling, we don't want you to get yourself injured. Now. Look at that shot right through the heart. He's just a beautiful guy. All oh, coming up very high. I Look at that. Really low. That's it. But that's it what killed him so fast. You you'll see when we when we open him up. That's a beautiful old, very old South African springbok. You can hear the lions roaring in the background, coming with the wind. See how thick his neck is? Yeah, my problem with the last one, I hit low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now see how polished, look how polished he is. He's an old chap. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, say a few words. Well, 
He is a beautiful spring book. Beautiful. Came in fast. I have my release that I've already taken off. It's so cold and nothing's moving and I saw him coming over. I think I saw him first, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. I said, there comes a little spring book and you said, I love a little spring book. He's an old chap. Big old guy. Then he got a, he got at the far edge of the water, started to drink. And I'm so paranoid of these animals is that I've seen so many videos of them jumping the string and I don't want them to jump my string, so I aim low. Yeah. I aim I aim really low. Yeah. And I went right through the park. He didn't go far. Well, he's a he's an old spring buck in good condition, he's all by himself. And uh a beautiful South African springbok, just a beautiful specimen. His horns, he's an old chap. They go up very high, as you can see, but polished. I mean, these ridges are almost gone, and it's time for him to go. But, but look at the size of the neck. Nice neck. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful facial markings. Nothing wrong with his ears. Beautiful. Shoulder mount. He will definitely do. Look at the colorings and everything. Let's take him out to the sun and take proper pictures. Well done, Owen. Thank you. There we go. Owen, congratulations. This is a beautiful South African springbok, your second springbok. Yes. This one we shot on a very windy day. It's cold. We reckon that there's a cold front moving in. So it's always good to use good weather and opportunity when you bow hunt. Um, because something can change and the, and the climate, uh, the, you know, can go from very sunny to windy, like today. Maybe tomorrow there will be clouds and it will be difficult. So, opportunity, chances, and, and experience, everything met this morning. This springbok you saw at about 250 yards, we were almost, we were almost ready to pack up and go when you saw it. Yeah, I had my release off, had yeah. the boat packed up, ready to go. Everything was almost ready and we were supposed to go out and uh, you, you saw this. Call. Yeah. Have him come pick us up. And with the naked eye, I could see this was a fine ram, you know. And we, we got everything together, there was excitement. The cameraman, us, all of everybody, and we prepared ourselves. And he just came in running into the water. Uh, and I knew he was feeling safe. I could see the reaction on the animal. They never do that. They never run into the water like this old chap did. And you asked me at one stage, is he skittish? Is he, you know, is he very scary and afraid or whatever? And I said, no, go ahead and pump him. I think it was about 22.5 yards okay. at the time when you shot. You hit him low, but you shot it right through the heart. And I knew that because he was standing on his hind legs. Then he went, he, that, that mowed like a horse, mm -hmm. and then on a spin back, you know that's a hard shot. But well done, I think he's a, he's a fine specimen, he goes up high, he's got good length. He's an old spin back, he's so smooth, it's like glass, yeah, this is beautiful. And it's time for him to go. He's got a new zip coat to North Carolina, say a few words. Um, thank you for, uh, again, for putting me on a on a nice trophy like he said this is a cold front coming in it's a very very cold morning on the stand and nothing was moving and we decided we'd leave and uh took my release off packing my bow away and i saw him coming over the hill and albert said get your bow out he's a really good specimen and uh i ain't going to chest anticipating maybe he would drop he didn't it went right through his heart and he didn't go very far Owen, I would say probably about 60 yards or so. Okay. And, and, but he was in trouble almost from the word go. It hit him unaware. He had no adrenaline in his body. And you could see that only five paces from there he was stumbling. And, and, and he, he had a hard time. Mm -hmm. There's a trail of blood that you can just follow. I mean, it's, he lost so much blood with that shot. And it was pumping out on both sides. 